And the issue of race was top of mind in Fort Worth today. Mayor Betsy Price met with black leaders and clergy as part of an effort to clear up months of hard feelings after the fallout of several racially charged incidents. The city is also actively pushing a new race and cultural task force. And as our Todd Unger found out, some say it's decades overdue. When Jacqueline Craig was arrested by a Fort Worth cop last year, after she called police when a neighbor put his hands on her child, some of us were shocked, others were not. We, we, we push it under the rug, it'll be all right, you know? And then it begins to fester and you've got the problems that we have right now. At age 90, Opal Lee knows a thing or two about race and Fort Worth. They didn't want us in the neighborhood at all. She keeps the pages of history close by, never forgetting how her family's own home was firebombed by white supremacists in 1939. They bombed that house, they burned that house. We had to skedaddle for our lives. Those days may be gone, but Lee says a subtler racism still persists still going on. It's one reason she and others are encouraged by a new city task force which will target racial divide. The city has got to take a look at itself in the mirror. Corey Session is one of 23 locals on the task force. A mirror is not just to reflect what you see, a mirror is there to correct what you see. It isn't just African Americans. No, as before. Last week, hundreds of Hispanics filled downtown, upset about the state's new Sanctuary Cities bill and how Fort Worth is the only major Texas city not fighting it in court. Currently, we have a race relations perception problem. We have to address that. On Inside Texas Politics Sunday, Fort Worth Council Member Carlos Flores outlined how the city still has much to do on multiple fronts. So let's have some dialogue and, and, and then some action. Opal says she simply wants some actual results, not just talk. Now we understand that task force should meet at least once a month and it sounds like they are going to have a number of town hall meetings where hopefully you can weigh in. Next year they'll present some firm recommendations to the city council. Reporting live tonight, Todd Unger, Channel 8 News.